Okay, we're going to um, look at what are known as spring tides and neap tides now. Okay, so spring tides, neap tides, they both occur twice monthly. So each month you're going to encounter two spring tides and two neap tides. So let's have a look at the spring tides first. Spring tides are approximately 20% higher than a normal high tide that you would get. So a spring tide occurs when you have the combined gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. So in this diagram here we have the sun and the moon in conjunction and with the earth here and you can see that the combined gravitational pull of the sun and the moon is creating a high tide, a higher high tide. Okay, so our, our high tide will be higher than normal. And because our high tide is higher than normal, then our low tide is going to be lower than normal. Spring tide is when you have the sun and the moon in conjunction, or the moon could be over here in opposition, but when you've got them lined up basically, and you have this combined gravitational pull, which creates the water around the earth, it creates this sort of shape where you get a high, high water. So let's perhaps have a look at the little models here. So if this is, this is the earth here, this is us in the earth, and we have a situation where the moon and the sun are aligned. Okay, so they're in conjunction. And that's our position here. So when we're in this position, we're going to experience a high, high tide. Because we've got all this gravitational pull combined of the sun and the moon. So it's going to create a high, high tide. When we move around to this position here, six hours later, then our low tide is going to be lower than normal. It's going to be a low, low tide because we've got the combined pull of the sun and the moon over here. Okay. So we move around a further six hours. We're going to still experience our spring tide, our high, high tide, because the sun and the moon are pulling the earth over this way. So it's creating a high tide high high tide on this side as well as that side. Back around a further six hours and we're experiencing our low, low tide again. When we get back to this position 24 hours later, of course the moon has moved 14 degrees because of its lunar cycle. So the tide, the, the high tide we're experiencing isn't as high as when the moon and sun were aligned because the moon has moved around. So you can see that we're going to experience the high high tide when the sun and the moon are in conjunction and also when the sun and the moon are exactly in opposition so that means twice a month when we're in those positions are we going to experience a spring tide now let's have a look at a neap tide now a neap tide is when <coughs> we have the moon and the sun basically in opposition. So we've got the sun pulling a gravitational pull one way and the moon the other way and it creates a neap tide. And a neap tide is where your low tides are higher than normal and your high tides are lower than normal. So let's have a look at our situation here. We have the sun here and we've got the moon here. Okay, so the sun and the moon are, are, are pulling in opposite directions. So if we're in this position here, the Earth, we've got the gravitational pull of the Moon. Now normally that would be a high tide, normal high tide, but because the Sun is pulling directly this way, it's going to make our high tide lower than normal. So in other words, in a neap tide situation, our, low t our high tides are lower than normal. Okay, let's put ourselves in this position where the, the Moon is pulling in that direction, Therefore, there's a high tide there. Normally, this would be a low tide. This is, would be, this is our low tide because the, moon is, the gravitational pull of the moon is up this way. However, with the sun in this position, it means that our low water is going to be higher than normal. So with a neap tide, you're going to get a higher low water, but a lower high water. And again, it's approximately 20% different than normal tides. So that's spring and neap tides. Twice monthly a spring tide, twice monthly neap tide. 
spring tide, sun and the moon in conjunction, pulling together in other words, also sun and the moon in opposition, pulling together, creating the spring tides. Neap tides, moon and the sun opposing each other. Moon and the sun opposing each other, creating the neap tide. So that's spring and neap tides.